Hello everybody, it's Big Chonus here. Gonna do a quick check here on Bitcoin's price action. This is the daily chart we've been watching here. And we'll get rid of that for just a moment before we determine what kind of a pattern, what kind of a shape of Bitcoin's price action we're actually creating here. We see our moving averages, 50 over 100 over 200, have been bullishly spreading out over the past several days and weeks. This is by far the most bullish stance our moving averages have shown until we go all the way back here till uh, January of 2018 here where we were really starting to lose our parabola and our shortest time frame MA50 was clearly topping off there. But we see what kind of a spread, a maximum spread, a parabolic move can create these uh, moving average indicators here and for now we've just on the almost the infancy of this spread here as we have the alignment of our daily chart indicators that we've been looking for now the weekly we're not there yet we still have the 100 over the 50 over the 200 and we want to get our 50 to cross above our 100 to make the weekly as bullish as our lower time frames are showing as well Let's go back to the daily for a couple moments here. So we know where our moving averages are. We are way above them. So the MA50 puts Bitcoin down at 6K still. You know, almost a $2,000 drop before its longest term moving average. Now on its bullish move itself, you can see it many times it was able to accelerate above the MA50 here, here, and of course way up here. But we are significantly higher, almost to the parabolic move of Bitcoin's price action distances, uh, you know, from our MA50 uh, as our first initial backstop. So we're even putting in more of a bullish stance here than we had before our, um, you know, blast off zone here of the early part of December of 2017. That just goes to show A, how bullish we are, and B, if a notable pullback was to happen, the significant drop that could definitely be in play with said pullback. But what do we know? What do we know? So let's get rid of these for just a moment here. And what do I mean by what do we know? Well, we know after several attempts to break through, the $6,600 zone, mid 6Ks, has been shown to be strong support. Okay, and this is true. That was quite a buy up candle that was in, in, ensued when Bitcoin had a pretty substantial drop from about $8,400 all the way to about 64, almost there, there, there in, in itself was its $2,000 drop there. Now we're actually lower still in the lower eight Ks, but that drop produced a very nice lower wick on this daily candle here. It was actually able to get us, you know, almost back to where as if it never happened. So the strong buying pressure in the mid six Ks is confirmed. We also see that does coincide with this area here of, you know, previous resistance turned support, uh, turned resistance and now back into support again. So this is a notable price flip, not just price flip, but uh, resistance support flip, literally right at the $6,600 area, coinciding with kind of our last area of bullish push here before we got rejected in November of 2018 and fell to the depths of the low 3k so we now know what our strong support has been tested and shown we also know what our strong resistance has been and basically the eighty four hundred dollar area let's make this red okay coinciding with this cluster of price history that we had had back in july and the beginning of august of 20 uh, 18 uh, proved to be a very um, uh, sharp and uh, significant rejection, bearish rejection in the price action of Bitcoin at that time, which brought in a lower high on the next bounce. A let's even put that one there. A lower high on the next bounce. And then finally, the capitulation move there. So now we've established our first support on this. And where we've been doing these lower highs and lower highs and lower highs there, on the back end of this move, 
we've basically been putting in the opposite effect on the bullish side. Okay, what, what was lower highs um, is now lower lows. Uh, sorry, is now higher lows. Higher lows. And not just higher lows, but we've been putting in higher highs pretty consistently here. And we're not ready to say that we've lost that pattern just yet, even with the strong rejection still around the $8,400 area. Now, what happens? Let's look at this in two ways. Look at this from a bullish side, look at this from a bearish side. The bearish side says, okay, we basically keep butting our head against this area of resistance. We're able to get through this one. We're able to get through this one. Okay, and actually not just get through it, but coinciding with the current price action, establish an area of resistance, also turned as support. Okay, we bounced from there, we broke it, and look where we tapped our support on uh, yesterday's candle, right on the $7,400 area, which was the peak of our September, early September topping, right? before we fell to a lower low. So now we have support, 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 and I gotta do another green um, candle here showing an arrow. The higher low of this move is now finding support in this area. So now we're sandwiched. We are sandwiched between 7,400 and 8,400. Both have shown strong support. Both have shown strong resistance. Now we're back to the support range. Breaking through can bring us to our next area of chart horizontal resistance. And that would put us right here at just sub $10,000 Bitcoin. Now that area also coincides with the 382 Remember, we're climbing up the mountain here. We have our base camp down here, right around 3150. We have our first test, which was around the 7K area, the 236. We've been above the 236 in this consolidation. And the 382 at around $9,500 coincides with the next area of fib resistance now we did break through the 236 on a wick on the initial break right here this candle here before pulling back so we can overshoot the 3a2 and get us up to the horizontal resistance test of the may 2018 uh, daily candle rejection zone so i like when areas of where we're two different indicators, you know, or two different ways to look at the chart uh, coincide with each other, you know, and then you have obviously your third one, which is the psychological resistance uh, of $10,000. Are people willing to buy $10,000 Bitcoin if it gets up there after having only been sub 5,000 just a couple weeks ago, right? I mean, we're over a month by now, but still, you know, six, seven weeks ago, where we're five grand Bitcoin, um, you know, potentially seemed expensive. And now we're up to, uh, and now, it, now it, it's quite a bargain. As we're still moving high here, we also are holding our parabola, um, which even with our corrective moves over the past several ones that we've had, uh, has not broken. And we actually can give, um, you know, deference to a more sustained correction or at least sideways pattern potentially, or even a drop to find that support over the next several days because of the, um, slope of our parabola before going vertical or intravertical, which we really can't do here, just to keep this almost at a peak, we can basically re-ride this into June while holding the support of the overall trend. Of course, the longer we actually flag out here in our consolidative price action, the longer we flag 
it can be looked at two ways. It can look at, okay, the really strength of the resistance here, or just said consolidation itself finds that support area and then is able to break away. Now, the double topping here of this zone, this is now testing really a triple topping at this point, even though because we're back over 8K again. So the 8K uh, it itself is really not any kind of a notable resistance. Um, the price action seems to be blowing through it and walls are been put up on the upper side and lower side of 8k and not basically right on it now um all right so we basically we see all this here let's uh let's take a little screenshot of that too and we'll do that later okay so um Perfect. Okay, so we got that. Now let's clean the board. Very good. Uh, let's look at some other indicators. So where are we in relation to our Bollinger Band? Now again, I'm using my daily chart here still. Now our Bollingers are very still pretty wide here on the daily, but this is very bullish spread here. We have our our, our bottom support here, angles high, rising, and our top support though looking a little weak is still angled um, high here. So we have all three, our top, our middle BB, and our bottom all angled in a bullish stance. Okay, similar to this when this came up here. Now remember, we saw what tighter price action of our daily Bollinger can be very tight for quite a while until that expansion. So our, our expansion here is a very bullish expansion because we continue to maintain uh, middle Bollinger support. And that middle Bollinger support for now, again, is around the seven, a little higher than 7K, about $7,200 there. So middle Bollinger support would be a clear area. I would like to see the daily candles continue uh, to maintain and to be above. If we actually lose that support around 7K, lower BB uh, can be put into target, putting us around the 53 uh, $100 area today, but that's just today. Over the next several days, this will continue to rise and rise and rise, putting in that higher area of lower support. Now, our volume over the past several days have been definitely waning. We're not getting to see the, 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 the strength of that dollar volume, although strong comparatively to what we had seen previously. Um, we've definitely um, leveled out. Now, I don't see this as weak in terms of the numbers. It's weak in terms of the this cluster of much higher than normal uh, Bitcoin price action and dollar volume. So what do I mean by that? As long as we're able to consistently put in candles at these heights, that does coincide with the bullish flavor and buying pressure uh, continuing uh, in the price action of Bitcoin. Let's take a look here at our RSI. Um, I keep seeing this, this, this channel here, right? Um, and it's more or less been holding. Now, when we do get to this bottoming area here of our lower channel support, this is where we're supposed to bounce. This is where we're supposed to bounce and go on our next leg of bullish price action. Okay, so are we going to do that? Because we've done that this time and last time and last time and this time. Well, the last time we didn't get as high. You see that? And we're actually for the first time here putting in these lower highs. Pull that back a little bit. Putting in these lower highs um, in the RSI here as we're in this consolidation zone. And once again, now that we have a diagonal resistance here and here, any kind of an RSI price action that gets to this area happening to coincide with our middle channel resistance this would be a sell area. This would be a resistance area. But the RSI on a daily from 67 to 86 there, that's Bitcoin over 9K, my friends. I mean, that puts Bitcoin at least in the high 8Ks with a move such as that. A failure to hold this support, okay, sets up the lower high, lower low weakening of the RSI. And listen, this RSI relative strength has been relatively very strong. But we have put in a lower high. And if we fail to hold really from the horizontal, basically losing that 50 area, 
would be very determinative. But for now, it's still strong in the mid 60s as long as we keep in this area and hold that overall channel support. Um, MACD cross bearish, we've been seeing this kind of slow down here. We are barely putting in a bearish histogram here. But what we've also done is we've reset the histogram as a whole. It can now build a new mountain or start a new valley. Um, okay, or because we're back on our zero line, we, we use our histogram to determine momentum. And right now our momentum um, is undeterminative based on our histogram being dead at our zero line here with just the hint of a bearish cross. But still, until we, we get separation, which we do not have yet, but until we get separation in our indicators there, um, the MACD is basically holding a neutral to bullish position. Uh, and our daily stochastic here has close enough to bottom pinched here, looking for that chance of that bull cross. But for now, this is also still in a slight weakened bearish stance um, until we get that twist of our indicators. Um, so OBV is is kind of curious here. We um, This has been consistently putting those higher lows, higher highs, bullish divergence of Bitcoin's price action. You can see we barely were breaking our horizontal support, but it did hold. So we are finding a good support base in this area. It's the bounce what's going to be interesting to see if we can put in a higher um, or keep. So we're, we're, we're maintaining our higher low, which is good. Um, and we're still holding our parabola, which is good. Um, what will be interesting to watch is to see as our parabola spreads out, and we can give this deference here, but as our parabola spreads out to see if the um, lower low that we're currently putting in can be broken through. And that's really our major resistance right there with a lower level to be our little H and S right there. So we can get as high as here and still have a lower high set up here. That's why this has been a key indicator to see if Bitcoin is being accumulated on the dips, which we could see it had been every time. But for now, we're, we're not seeing the bullish divergence yet <coughs> continuing in the OBV. I'd be curious to see where today's move puts this candle here because we're actually finding a uh, right there resistance support is being back tested as resistance um longs and shorts listen shorts are are under now longs are dominant okay so there's no short squeeze here there's no shorts to squeeze and frankly the longs really are not really super over leveraged they'll be benefiting from a continued bitcoin move here but something in the price action needs to give for one of these to get a little too ahead of its skis. And right now, longs are actually set up to go higher um, because of their stance now uh, where they are above with the consolidation putting in this higher lows here. So we'll keep an eye on this to see if we get that kind of uh, out of alignment. But we're not seeing that yet. And therefore, this this is kind of really kind of determine if actual money flow organically uh, can move this market higher. All right, a couple more things here. Let's go to a higher time frame. Let's go to the weekly. Okay, still above upper Bollinger. Unprecedented bullishness here. Okay, finding that support. Now, what shape of this weekly candle? I mean, we know what a hay man can look like. We know what a, um, uh, would it be a drag? I'm thinking, is it a dragonfly? I can't remember which one has the, when it, if we have a very tight um, top. But what, what so far this has signified is the top, the high of the week was basically put in at the open of the week, you know, more or less last Sunday there. We have not basically, if we, we, we closed the prior week at exactly $8,200 on Coinbase. We have the high of this week at 
three. So we actually, wow, look at that. That's actually crazy. It actually opened at a hair low. We actually opened at 47 cents lower than the close of, so we were already in a drop at the, literally the second the week started. And we're seeing this lower wick be bought up through the week, find that support around the mid $7,500 area. But the shape of this candle will be very interesting, especially we can clearly see we're putting a lower volume profile only two days left in the week here. Um, and we're not going to get anywhere near it. Doesn't seem like that the previous two weeks of mega volume here. Um, but consolidation while holding uh, uh, above upper BB is still quite bullish and still gives um, you know, support any kind of a catch here if we do lose that that movement there. Um, you can see our RSI. I'm going to even leave the channel up here and still have a little bit running room to get to that middle channel of resistance. Um, but overall, it's a very strong weekly RSI above 70. And in this previous cluster, now you see how this bullish moves very spiky here. Each top has a point, 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 point. So keep an eye on the weekly here. We tend to put in a very sharp peak when we top out on our weekly chart. And that's a pretty sharp peak right there. This goes to determine how we close off this week here. Um, but it's a very low peak here. Even though it's sharp, it's very shallow. So again, keeping above 70 will negate that peak for now. Da, da, da. MACD is still strong here, but spread pretty wide. I don't like the width here and pretty advanced in our bullish histogram here as well. Starting to lose a little of that uptrend, but still holding a higher high there. So, <coughs> excuse me, weekly is very strong. So guys, it's been a quick update with Chonis and, and uh, keep you guys posted on my thoughts on Twitter as well. But I wanted to update you guys on my thoughts of the price action of Bitcoin. And basically, um, with any meaningful volume break of $8,300, $8,400, I basically stated how high we can get into the 9Ks. Um, <clears throat> this area continues to be strong resistance. And the strong supports still are in the above 7K area. The bulls do not have a reason to capitulate just yet. And the bears have not shown enough strength to push the market down to lower prices. And until dips stop being bought up, which they currently are, um, this can continue to be a very bullish market until proven otherwise. So with that, guys, please hit that thumbs up button. Please hit that subscribe button. Remember to follow me on Twitter, at Big Chonis. Check out my content on Bitcoin.live. And we'll talk to you soon. Peace.